Hey, it's James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. Joined now by a couple of the boys from Deaf Havana. It's Matt and James. How are you guys? Very good, thank you. Yeah, very you? good. Good, good to see you. Exciting week. Uh, the album's yeah. about to come out. Uh, you've also done a big feature in the magazine with us all about that. So I want to start with the writing process because it sounds like, from what we've been hearing, slightly different <laughs> yep. from how you approached it last time. <laughs> Tell the people how these came about, these songs. Um, do you want to start, mate? Uh, no. Okay, I'll start <laughs> it. Um, yeah, they were completely different. It was like... Whereas normally I'll write everything on an acoustic guitar and send it over to you guys and then we'll turn it into a band song. This was more me sitting in front of a computer um, coming up with like a cool synth sound or like a drum loop or what we were doing when we were up there, like recording our voices and <laughs> affecting them and then turning yeah, right. that into an instrument. It was completely backwards to how... Because all the stuff we did first is normally the stuff we do at the end. It's normally like strange textual stuff that we had on we were like i don't know yeah it was, it was the first time because normally as james said he will come up with the main bulk of a song on an acoustic guitar and so when we end up in the studio we will know pretty much how the song is going to right, go, right. going to play out you've got an idea yeah, yeah yeah whereas this is the first time we were writing almost section by section in some cases and so you'd be thinking oh this song's going to end up like this and you're like how the hell have we ended up with that? <laughs> yeah, it was like, really weird. Not necessarily in a bad way at all. No, sure. Like, but it was, it, yeah, yeah. You go down some interesting rabbit holes when you uh, yeah. start writing music like it, that. It couldn't be more back. Like, every single aspect about it was more was backwards to how we normally write. Well, speaking of backwards, wasn't there some cases where you had the title first? Yeah, exactly. And worked your way backwards? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so my question there is, how does that work? Because, uh, you know, a title like Sinner, to me, would immediately go, oh, that's quite dark. That's going to be a little, little gothic. And it's this big, lovely, bouncy, summery kind of pop song. Yeah. So how did how did that kind of work when you're starting with titles like that? Um, I, I don't know really. It, it it just gave me. It didn't work always. Like there's a there's a couple of them where I didn't manage to like fit the brief, I guess. But it kind of <laughs> it sort of like gave me something to work towards. And because I early on decided that we I wanted to finish this in a short time frame so we could release it in summer because it's something we've never done before. It just helped me work a bit quicker. But um, I don't know. And I, I had sort of an idea of a theme that I wanted in my head as well. And yeah, but also what you said about it sounding like a big, fun pop song. I like the juxtaposition of that and then really miserable lyrics. So I don't know. I think I wanted. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it it's, all, it's almost like a comedian doing a bit of misdirection where you think it's going one way. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. you read the title, exactly, and then yeah. it comes on. You're like, oh. Hello there. I like that effect. Though. Take them by surprise. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice effect. Uh, something else you were talking about in the in the magazine with us, uh, the inspiration a little bit. Bieber came up. Little, little mention of no. old Jay Biebs. Say what you like about Bieber, but the production. Well, he's producers. Basically. Yeah, like is is probably less be, He's made a few bangers. I'm not insulting. Let's be frank. Mr. Bieber. Come the production on, on that album is unbelievable. Some of the sounds on there are just ridiculous. So nice. yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. It, it was also just things like um, we, we've, I mean, so many bands do using just another guitar line for a lead line, and it was almost just things like how can we keep this feeling a bit more fresh for us as well, sure. and it, it was almost in that way that we thought, hang on, I, well, I really like this one element of sound from say this Justin Bieber left field pop song, yeah, yeah, That's um, well, for, <laughs> for us, yeah. Yeah, 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 for you guys, yeah, to be fair, <laughs> and um, then try. Try, try out seeing how that works on yeah. our music and that was that for me was a really interesting process and uh, yeah, interesting fun. way of doing things yeah, yeah I can imagine so who were the other inspiration points then? who else were you kind of listening to when you were forming this record I don't know. I'm not sure really like we it was more Phil's suggestions because he listens to like way more he keeps up to date like we love pop music and it's the essence of how I write songs and always it's has always been, been pop yeah. but he listens to like the charts so he knows what's right. he's current. up to date I haven't got a clue what's in the charts at the moment but then he'd pick really weird things that he liked about the songs yeah. like whether it was just this one tiny bit of vocal effect and was like oh we need to do something a bit like that I can't even <laughs> so, hear you on about mate. but yeah sure three your boots sure. yeah, interesting fair play nice yeah. mix nice mix of inspiration uh, the other thing that's really noticeable on uh, certainly a few of the tracks is the London Contemporary Voice Choir is that their official title yes Absolutely. Um, how did you come about working with them how did we come about I don't know who it was who oh. put us in contact I remember I did a So Far Sounds session and they were the headliner oh. but they or maybe we got in touch with them or they got in touch with us and they sang a song with me at that So Far thing they learned happiness and just we didn't even rehearse it we just did it it was really great 
Then we were going to do that Union Chapel War Child show. Yeah, in February. In February, and I thought it would be. What? I I always love adding. I always love making it more difficult for ourselves and just add in as many musicians as we possibly can. So yeah, we thought it'd be great to do that. Worked out really well. And then as I started writing these songs, I could hear like these massive like choir and choral lifts. Yeah. Lifts, and it just fits in with like the churchy element. I don't know, like it just seemed perfect. So yeah, I just emailed them and yeah. they were up for no, it. No, it fits together really nice. It's interesting that it came from doing live shows and stuff like that as well, yeah. because I guess that's my big question. Will we see that recreated in the live shows later on? Do you 100%. Think? Yeah. yeah? 100%. Definitely be awesome. that. that is very exciting. Get your tickets now, kids. That's yes. very, very exciting, yes. that one. Absolutely. Uh, we touched on the lyrics as well. It does seem more confessional um, in yeah. general and a lot more personal and stuff. And you've kind of, again, you've spoken about that in the past already. Um, was there anything you were kind of holding back? Did you feel like you were able to just kind of be an open book on this one? No. Or? Like, there's some <laughs> things I shouldn't have written about. Like, there's only ever been one song I've written about this particular subject before, really. So I felt like I was holding back on all. I, <sighs> there's some lyrics in there which are quite dark, and I don't know whether. It was a good idea to do it, but it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it. Well, it seems, it seems cathartic, I'll say that. Yeah. It definitely seems like you're definitely. getting stuff off Absolutely. your chest, and that's probably a good way to deal with yeah. those kind of things, right? I just don't want people to think I'm an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what you got to do then? Stop being an arsehole. I'm not an arsehole anymore. That's the whole point of this. Sometimes the simplest answers are right in front of you. Uh, um, I wanted to talk to you as well. Next year, correct me if I'm wrong, 10 years since your debut. Is that correct now? I mean, that Which seems like it. Well, 2009, and now it's going to be 2019. Yeah. That seems about right. I guess so, yeah. Any plan? Well, no plans to market then, I guess that's the next question. <laughs> <laughs> You've answered it for me already. <laughs> Definitely not. No, not at all? No, that's no? A, that is a powerful brown stain on the musical map. <laughs> let's, let's, let's erase that forever, shall we? Let's get rid of that one. Okay, so there's not going to be like Yumi's Take Off Your Colours tour type vibes. No, we're not going to revisit really, any old songs. I'm not, I'm not, I don't really, that's not my thing. I don't, I don't, I don't look back into the... The depths. We're looking forward. We're looking forward. My embarrassing That's okay. past. Well, I guess talking about looking forward, what is next then? Because it does feel like this record, you've opened up loads of new musical sounds and styles for you guys. It sounds really good. It still sounds like you. So do you feel Thank like you for moving that. forward beyond that, you could really try anything? Is that is that the plan now? It does feel a bit like that. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure because I was really, really nervous about this and I was so scared that we would like alienate everyone. But luckily people have been really lovely. Yourselves particularly. Thank you very much for that. And um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know how much further we can go. I never know what the next album is going to sound like until sure. I, like start. Yeah, I'd no, I'd until, had until no... you're halfway through and you're like, oh, this is us now. This is a pop up. <laughs> I had no idea. This was... Yes, this is what it sounds yeah. like. No <laughs> idea it was going to sound like this. Yeah, but yeah, I guess in a way, it opens, I mean, like, you're not afraid of it. I guess. Is the question. No, no, I, I, I don't <laughs> no. think you can be artistically. If you are, it's very much a like. A, oh, Completely forgotten my words Restriction. there. Yeah, it is. It, it really constricts what you can do. Constrict. Especially if you have such a... Because obviously there's some things you want to get into, your songwriting and things like that. But if your whole process is worrying about whether people will like it, mm. then that almost bypasses the question, well, do you believe in it or like right, it? Right, and right. for me, I think if there's some integrity in it still because you're doing it for the right reasons and because you want to do it not to just get more radio play or whatever yeah then I people will see that and it, it does come through yeah like that was the main thing i was worried about i just thought everyone would think that the reason it sounds like this is because i just wanted to be to get somewhere but it's totally not at all like yeah. that especially i think when people hear the whole album as well it's it feels very authentic because it is it's a running thing and it's it, it's, yeah, yeah well. and it's that's the other thing it isn't just a collection of pop songs it is for me the most a record of ours has flowed like it, that was one thing that we really wanted to do was create a like a sonic journey for you to go through like the first six songs are almost bludgeoning you over the head with the biggest pop songs we've ever written yeah. and then ends up finishing with the most miserable record we've ever written <laughs> journey it's a journey yeah. like you say it's a journey and, uh, and on that note yeah can't wait for people to hear it guys congratulations thank you again. so much and, uh, thank you uh, i'm sure we'll see you back yeah on tour later this year and all this yeah, stuff. absolutely so, yeah. all right definitely. thank you